Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, back from another train rotation. Been wanting to do this for a while, but um, finally having the time to get get to it. So, right now I am uh, doing a transmission flush on a 2005 Impala. Uh, it's equipped with the 3.4 liter V6 uh, automatic transmission. I think it's a four speed. Anyways, uh, I just want to show you my quick setup and then show you how I'm going about this process uh, without any really specific tools uh, that I have in my toolbox. So I just got my funnel on the transmission um, dipstick. All right, and then um, there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube. You can check it out. But um, anyways, don't have to do one on essentially taking off the transmission uh, coolant line from the radiator. So uh, let me show you what I used. So I went ahead and um, here's a C-clip that went around the transmission coolant line. Uh, I found this little little pick. Anyways, got the job done. I used this side, uh, pulled the C-clip out. The supply line is the bottom one. It's located uh, directly under uh, the uh, radiator hose. All right, so that's this is the one I'm using, supply line. Uh, I assume the other one up here you don't have to touch. Anyways. It's uh, pretty accessible. You just take off that uh, rubber cover right uh, below the radiator. Radiator, that's why you're not seeing it. Uh, very simple. So here it is. This is the one I'm using. Uh, right now, I have the bumper off. Gone to a slight accident. Wasn't our fault. Uh, but that's how Italian drivers are. Anyways, putting in this. Uh, Dextron 6 all right so essentially the way I'm uh, going through this process is uh, I was looking for a plastic container uh, it turns out didn't have any at the time I used the other one um, for coolant to put coolant back in uh, so I can go ahead and dispose of that properly I came up with this treetop apple juice plastic container uh, it's the only one I had essentially it's ended up working well for me it's a two quart all right, so essentially I put this um, attached to the transmission cooling line. All right, and what you need is an assistant to go ahead and turn on the car. You go ahead and spray. Turn it off. So essentially, um, it's only draining about two quarts at a time. All right, so after this is done, by the way, this transmission fluid is looking pretty rough, but it's it's a whole lot better after putting in about three, four, five, six, seven, eight quarts in. So I go ahead and drain this out. It was looking very thick, very brown. Anyways, that doesn't drain much once the car is off. So, come back over here. Quart of oil, which you're essentially just going to do. Um, two quarts at a time. Fill this up. So I've done this for about eight quarts already. I just want to entirely do a flush, make sure I get all that old fluid out. Uh, I have nothing but Dextron 6 in there. So go ahead and fill it up. Uh, I'm gonna use these quarts later on, put all that um, old oil transmission fluid into them, and then go ahead and dispose of that properly. So uh, essentially that that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and put in another quart since I uh, took two out. I don't want to uh, leave the transmission with um, less than two quarts empty. So I'm gonna go ahead throw another quart in uh, Repeat the process for another I think I only have yeah, so I'll do it for just one quart um, And I pour that quart back into the transmission and um, Go ahead and use that last quart to top off and make sure it's at the correct uh, amount of fluid into the transmission. So very simple um, 
use tools that I had around here if you even want to call them tools you found that small pick so uh, you do need someone to help you out turn on the car and turn it off uh, preferably I could have done this by myself but I had someone else to help me out so if you have any questions go ahead uh, shoot them my way and I'll go ahead and get them answered thanks